everybody, Jessie here from jessiebanks.com and welcome back to another video. So for today I have for you this lady slipper card that I made using one of Power Poppy's new digital images. So Marcella's done something really, really great. Um, she's taken a bunch of the previously, um, the previous images that were only available in clear and turned them into digital so we can blow them up and make them big and do what I like to personally do with all of my digital florals in make them extremely huge and obnoxious and cover an entire card front. So that's what I did here. I did keep the entire image in instead of cropping it in my usual style, and that's simply because I love the way the leaves at the bottom of these lady slippers looked. So I'm starting just by adding some definition into the background using my BV markers, and I'm just using 25, 23, and 20, and then a colorless blender, and I'm blending them out into the white area just slightly, just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension in the back of the image. If you do hear noises outside and things, um, it's beautiful out. It's like 18 degrees and there's a little bit of a breeze and I have all the windows in the house open. So I've heard people with saws running and weed whippers running and lawnmowers and things all day and all evening. So you may hear a little bit of a racket yet because people are still doing that type of thing. It's like seven o'clock while I'm doing the voiceover right now. So there's noise and birds and all sorts of stuff. So if you guys hear any of that in the background, I do apologize, but... It's too beautiful to keep my doors and windows closed so everything's kind of wide open and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So I'm just blending out the lightest color and then I will come in with a colorless blender and the one I start with is empty. So I grab my other one. I fill the, I'll fill the other one later but I had one that was full so I didn't waste any time in doing that. Um, I have printed this image on a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I did print it at four and a quarter by five and a half is the original square in the background. And then when I do cut it down, I will cut it down to four by five and a quarter so that I have a little bit of another white border just from the original or just from the uh, card base. It's kind of the way I like to do all of my cards. If you guys have watched, I always have that quarter inch difference on my f main panel to the actual card base. So once we get this all done, I will start in on the leaves. I have only sped this video up to two times the original speed. It was a super fast coloring on this one. I think it was like 19 minutes at full at um, regular speed, so probably could have left this whole one out, but I wasn't sure what I was going to blabber about. So I sped it up to two times the original speed and then figured a 10 minute video would be a nice short one. I haven't been doing a lot of them lately. I know I keep saying I'm going to get back on track and then I'm like, huh. I have to volunteer for this and my son has ball on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I have to mow my lawn and I have to somewhat keep my house kind of sort of and my house is a mess. I need to clean house <laughs> this week. Um, I have we have a summer sizzle. It's like we have like a little jamboree and slow pitch and all sorts of things and I'm the group that I'm the president president of in town here is running the canteen out there so I have to get all that organized. So it's just been lots and lots of go, go, go. It's summer. Um, so I'm starting off with my flowers here and I am starting with a YG99 just to give it a really dark shadow at the darkest points and then I will jump into the 67 will be my next color just to brighten it up and make it more green and less of that yellow tone that I usually use because they are my favorite markers but I figured I should change things up once in a while and not always do what I do all the time. So... <laughs> We're just going to finish laying in our dark shadows and then we'll slowly start blending everything out with the lighter colors. I did take the little Hello Friend sentiment um, that comes along with this digital image and put it down in the bottom corner. I will have the direct link to this image in the description box below so you guys can find it super nice and easy if you want to pick that one up for yourself. There is also a discount code until the 30th of the month to go along with Kathy Rakusen's daily marker challenge so the 30 days of coloring so this will expire on the 30th of june 2018 but the code is coloring challenge and it's spelt the american way so that will give you 25 percent all of your digital and clear images in the store it does exclude the brand new creative and curious collection um which was just recently released which is why it's not included and all dyes are also not on the discount so it's just clear stamps and digital stamps excluding that brand new collection so that's super awesome I mean go pick yourself up some digital stamps and save yourself 25% off Marcella's images are so fun I have a whole bunch of them on my channel here if you look at my power poppy playlist watercolors Copics I don't know if I filmed any colored pencil ones I don't know if I've colored any with colored pencils 
I probably haven't. I should probably do that. Maybe I should do some flowers and colored pencils. Hmm. I might have to do that. Sorry, thinking out loud. I do that. So I hope everybody's been having a great time. I've been, like I said, so busy. We are redoing cabins and condos and stores and lodges and all sorts of things out at one of the provincial parks here. Um, the whole outfit was purchased by a new company and they're gutting and renovating everything. And if you don't know, I'm a painter by trade, so I paint residential and commercial property. That's how I pay my bills. That's what I do for 45 hours a week. Like that, that's, that's my job. This is fun. <laughs> there, there's a big difference. <laughs> so, um, I've been spending many, many hours and doing some overtime and stuff out there so that they can get open before summer's over so they can enjoy some of their peak season and all of that fun stuff and people can love being there. So, so we're going to start in on our flowers and I have a friend here on, um, on Facebook and she's on a bunch of design teams with me and she's just, she's a great friend. Me and her talk all the time and I wasn't sure what colors to use. So I asked her if I should do the flowers, pink and yellow or yellow and teal. And she went with yellow and teal because pink is kind of expected. So that's what I did. And I'm going to just color like those, I call them mustache pieces. I've always called them mustache pieces, even since I was a little girl. And we used to play with lady slippers to make them talk, but talk and stuff and like snapdragon flowers and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm coloring the little mustache pieces yellow and then the rest of the lady slipper will be teal. So I'm just laying in my darker colors and blending them out with the lighter ones as I do with all of my coloring. It's been a while since I've done some florals and Copics. I usually pull out my watercolors for these, so it was kind of fun to do something a little bit different and a little bit faster. Um, I am, fat Copics are probably my fastest medium, and that's why I reach for them a lot of the time if I'm tight on time or I'm in a hurry or I'm trying to get a bunch of things done like I am lately. So that's why you're getting Copic marker flowers instead of watercolor flowers. But like I said, we need to do colored pencils. So I'm getting all of that blended out and then I will do a teal. I tried a different teal combination. I mixed like some of the BG zero whatevers with the BG 45s and um, I used BG 10. I just kind of mixed a whole bunch together that I haven't really used before. Love the way they blended together. It turned out awesome. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I did zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing a little better than being so far away. So I used that BG10 and then I blended it together with the zero just to make sure the inside of that flower stayed nice and light. I will come at it with some grays at the end just to give it a little bit of shadow in there. Now we're going to start on the rest of the lady slippers and I'm going in with my BG09 and laying in all of my darkest shadows where anything looks folded or kind of rolls underneath and I think it should be the darker color. I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm not a flower person. If you've watched my video channel for a long time, we've had this discussion. Lots of time I color flowers, I don't even know what they're called, but I really love coloring and painting flowers. It's one of my personal favorite things to do. Some people love people. Um, I mean, I love coloring all sorts of things, animals, people, like critters, trees, you name it, I'll color it. But flowers are probably my personal favorites. So we're just working with that BG 49 now and slowly blending it out into the white air, extending all of those all of that color. So I'm going over top of the darker and then pulling it into the white. You always want to travel over your previous color, like your darker color, um, so that you get those smooth transitions between the colors and they blend together really, really nice. I find that I can do dark to light one coat on Nina. It's the same way, it's the same technique I used on Copic Express it when I was coloring on that. Lots of people still use that paper. I'm contemplating um, ordering myself another ream of it and risking the hundred ish dollars it's going to cause me in Canada to see if maybe I just got a bad batch. I'm hoping that's the case because I really did prefer my Copic Express It paper. That was my personal favorite. It's what I had learned on. That's what I've always said is you need to pick a paper you can keep on hand and use consistently in order to learn how to color on it. Lots of papers work. It's just they're all slightly different. So if you can pick one that you can stick to consistently, it will allow you to get better with your blending and your transitions between colors and things. So we're just finishing up our flower here and we're almost done. I'm just going to add that little bit of gray into the mouth of the lady slippers and that will be it. So like I said, all of the links will be in the description box below. 
Definitely take advantage of that coloring challenge code to save 25% off your purchase over at Power Poppy. I hope you guys like the video, and if you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate that as well, and hit the little bell if you want to see when I do upload videos. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.